Panther Nation, what's good? What's good? Undrafted free agency is upon us. Um, I've got a nice little list of uh, about 15 uh, undrafted free agents. I'm Rashad, one half of the Panther Nation podcast. Um, just quick mention, hit that subscribe button, please. Hit the like button, please. Um, we go live every Monday, nine between 8.30 and 9 p.m. Uh, no matter what, in the offseason, we go live, all right? Make sure you hit that subscribe button, please, all right? Uh, but we got some undrafted free agents to go over. It's 15 of them. I'm going to give you a quick list, and I'm, I'm going to give you a little bur- blurb on them, okay? Um, again, this is as of right now, as of recording this. This could change. There could be some additions, some subtractions. If that's the case, we'll cover them on Monday, okay? Um, that being said, you know what happens. We got to go through something quick, right? Let's get it. Let's get it, all right? So first up, we got Cam Sutton. Tight end out of Fresno State. He is six foot five, 243 pounds. Really underutilized as a, a receiver. Um, he only had like six catches for 112 yards, two rushes for 34 yards. Um, not not very much there. He had a better senior season. He had 664 yards with seven touchdowns as a junior. Um, but as his senior season was not very good. Um, but he has the athletic traits, the athletic measurables. Okay. He looked like he can run, but six foot five, 243 pounds, something you can't teach, maybe something for Joe Brady to work with, okay? Um, all right, let's move on. Rodney Smith out of Minnesota. This dude was a workhorse in Minnesota, okay? Five foot 11, 211 pounds. Uh, he's one of the best running backs to ever play for Minnesota. Uh, he had 5,441 all purpose yards, was ranked first in school history, okay? Uh, he had 29 rushing touchdowns, which ranked sixth in school history. He also had two kickoff returns, so he has some kick return ability, okay? Kick return ability is key, because we don't really have that right now on the roster. Uh, we have Farrell Cooper, but you never know. Um, but, the, the pump the brakes a little bit. This dude has an injury history, um, and he's old, okay? He's already 24 years old. That's not very good. Um, he uh, he redshirted his first season and then missed, uh, game, missed a couple games um, due to an uh, ACL tear um, in his knee. So... Um, he's got some injury issues, but uh, hopefully he can stay healthy and, and maybe make the roster. I think there may be, may be some opportunity there for him. All right, moving on. Uh, Brandon Bowen from Ohio State, six foot seven, 315 pounds, uh, right tackle. Started 13 games in his fifth year as a Buckeye. Um, this was his best season for sure. Um, uh, you know, he, he earned a lot of accolades from the Big Ten. Um, and listen, offensive tackle is something we, we need a depth. With not saying this dude's gonna make the team, not but I, I'm just saying this is good that we're addressing it. We didn't address, address it in the draft, so it's good that we're at least attacking it in free agency. So I like this, I like this, especially from a, a Power Five conference. So you got some competition, um, play with Justin Fields, so that's cool. That's cool. I like this. I like that pick a lot. All right, moving on. Uh, Chris Orr, six foot, 224 pound uh, linebacker, inside linebacker that is, recorded 11, 11 and a half sacks as a senior. Uh, as a middle linebacker, that's pretty crazy. Okay, I um, recorded as in, in his entire uh, career, um, he has uh, 178 tackles, 20 tackles for losses, 14 sacks, two interceptions, eight pass breakups, and four fumble recoveries. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Okay, middle linebacker, another position. Even though we went all defense, didn't really address. We got a ton of linebackers to go over and undress uh, in, in this in this uh, video. So. We're definitely trying to address it in uh, in free agency for sure, or undrafted free agency for sure. All right, so I like this kid a lot. I got to watch some film. I started watching a little bit, but I like this kid. He's one to watch to make the roster, okay? Moving on, Mike Horton. This guy, he thought he was going to get away from Derek Brown. Uh-uh, not so much. You got to go up against him. Six foot four, 325-pound Atlanta native. Had 32 career starts for the Tigers. Started at left guard um, 2017 before moving to right guard. In 2018, 2019, we've done a great job as an organization with guards. Okay, we made some guards some money. Andrew Norwell made him a lot of money. Trey Turner, very good. Uh, Van Roten made him some money as well this year. So we we know what to do with undrafted free agent uh, undrafted free agent guards. Not Trey Turner was not one, but the other two were. Um, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. I like this kid, and he's going up against Derrick Brown in practice a lot, and he will continue to do that. Okay. Moving on, Trevante Heights. Um, not don't really know much about this kid. He's six foot three, 195 pounds. Um, he caught 14 passes his entire career. Eight of those catches came in 2019 season opener against Arkansas Pine Bluff. So, 
can't buy to here. Don't just don't expect much from this this kid. All right, moving on. You can expect a little bit more from this kid, uh, Omar Bayless, uh, Arkansas State wide receiver. This kid was supposed to get drafted. Okay, he didn't. He's six foot one, two hundred twelve uh, pounds. He earned Sun Belt Player of the Year honors uh, for 2019 after recording 93 catches for 1,653 yards, 17 touchdowns, and 13 games for Arkansas State. But it wasn't enough for him to get get drafted. Um, I think he could. A lot of people are liking this kid. I gotta watch the film. I know he's not that fast. He ran a four, a four six, um, so he's not very fast. Um, the cool thing about him, though, is the Panthers did give him a hundred thousand uh, uh, dollar, a, a portion of his salary is guaranteed. A hundred thousand dollars is guaranteed uh, out of the, the deal he signed. Okay, so that's super dope. Um, and that, that means they expect a little bit of something out of this kid. I gotta watch the film. I'm pumping the brakes though. Four six ain't very fast. Um, I gotta see. He dominated the, the competition he went against. Um, so that that's cool. But let's move on. Um, Fred Ma Maui Maui Alo I don't know how to pronounce this dude's name. I'm sorry. Maui Maui Goa. Maui Goa. I'm going with that. Uh, six foot four. Uh, 310 pounds. Uh, simply put, this dude was the anchor uh, for Washington State offensive line for the past three seasons. Uh, he started uh, 39 straight games as a center and was named to the Remington, Remington Award watch list, which is the, for the best center. Um, and he earned Pac-12 honor, honorable mention for his junior year, um, which is this is interesting. He uh, was the center for Luke Falk, Garner Minshew, and Anthony Gordon. I think all those guys are in the NFL, um, which is crazy. Um, so shout out to our uh, Fred, Fred M. Moving on, Giovanni Risi. This dude sounds like he should be a part of the mob. Okay, he's got a mob name, Giovanni. Uh, six foot three, two hundred forty pound tight end. I had a breakout season for the Broncos last season, catching fifty one to six hundred fifty one passes for six hundred forty two yards, eight touchdowns. Uh, dude's all around game is pretty good. Uh, he's he's developed, and uh, I think he's actually developed to a decent run, run blocker as well. We have a gap at tight end. Thought we were going to get Thaddeus Moss. Didn't happen. He signed with the Redskins. So we got us a little consolation prize in Giovanni. Uh, so shout out to Giovanni. Moving on. Uh, Jordan Mack out of Virginia. Linebacker. Another linebacker. Six foot three, 241 pounds. Um, in 2019, Mack led the Cavaliers with seven and a half sacks and posted 69 total tackles, 7.5 for loss with two forced fumbles. I like this kid as well. ACC school. Um, that we're addressing the linebacker. And that being said, we got another linebacker with rule connections, okay? Sam Franklin Jr. from Temple. Um, he's a linebacker. He's the rule connect, six foot three, 210 pounds. I don't have any stats for the kid, but this is another linebacker. And guess what? We've got another linebacker, and he's got a nice mustache. Uh, so shout out to Justin Farish, uh, Montana Western. Linebacker, six foot three, 220 pounds. Like six foot three is almost a minimum to be a linebacker for the Panthers. All these dudes are six foot three. Um, he's a two-time All-First Team, excuse me, two-time First Team All-American, uh, finishing in 2019, leading the leading the Frontier Conference with 119 tackles. He added 10 tackles for loss and three and a half sacks. So small school guy, but dominated. And he's got a nice stash. Look at the stash, dog. Uh, moving on. Uh, Sam Tecklenburg, six foot four center, out of Baylor, another Baylor connect, 310 pounds. So he retired last year. Looks like he he had the dream to play in the NFL. Rule brought him back. Okay, Rule said, "You're my guy. Pretty good. We're gonna bring you back." And he came out of retirement to play for Matt Rule, center. Something we could be looking for. We got two solid centers in undrafted free agency. And if either one of those guys could slide in the guard, that's a plus as well. All right, I like this. I like this. What we're doing. All right, moving on. Uh, Miles Hart Hartsfield, 5'11", 200-pound uh, center slash safety. Um, you see it. Ole Miss. Um, Hartfield, who played uh, both cornerback and safety over his career, appeared, appeared in all 48 games across his four years in Oxford. Um, he was freshman All-American in 2016 when he has best statistical season in 43 tackles. Um, he had 42 tackles and a career-high two interceptions a year later. He combined for 82 tackles and one interception as a junior and a senior. So this dude productive. Productive. You never know. Um, he's got nice size for a cornerback. I don't know what his speed is, but looks like we're getting dudes that have me measurables and can be coached. All right, moving on. Another linebacker. This is, I think, linebacker number five. Somebody get the linebacker tracker up. Uh, David Reese II, 6'1", 
239 pounds uh, in his Florida career. Reese recorded 324 tackles, 19 tackles, 19 and a half for a loss, and 3.5 sacks. He had one interception, a fumble recovery, uh, two fumble recoveries that is as well. So productive linebacker uh, from Florida. Again, SEC talent. Moving on, last but not least, Miles Adams. I don't have any stats for him, but he's six foot two, defensive tackle out of Rice, um, and he's also 290 pounds. So, that being said, woo, let me take a breath. That's gonna wrap it up uh, for our undrafted uh, free agent signings. Hey man, listen, join us tomorrow. We're gonna talk about the draft, uh, all our free agent signings. If we missed them, listen, pretty good haul, pretty good haul here. A lot of linebackers, some offensive line depth. I ain't mad. Again, you didn't get all the guys I wanted. I did, I wanted um, Trey Adams. I wanted uh, Alex Taylor. But they did get some uh, some offensive linemen um, that can play as well. So I'm, I'm happy that we, we addressed offensive line. We dressed, uh, addressed linebacker a little bit. We got another another could-be uh, solid wide receiver. So I like it. They're, they're trying to fix some of these holes we got. Uh, they did a good job filling some of these gaps. So that being said, we're going to wrap this thing up. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, like button, and subscribe. All right, peace out.